All right, it didn't it didn't record. Hang on, so I gotta go back and look at stuff. This one up here too is pretty cool. Okay, so can we do the? Can we look at? Okay, we gotta do the ball one again because my record thing. I was having so much fun I didn't notice it, and then it didn't record. So I want you to show them again how the balls come out. Let, wait, let me get up here. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Look, look, you've got the planet with the rings coming up in the horizon. It's a very pretty planet. Okay. Really? Oh, wow, look, there she goes. That's bizarre. Uh-huh. Well, you should cut here. You need to come down and push your... Oh, maybe I can do it. But if I do it, I don't think you guys are going to see it. No? I toggled it, but they didn't like me. Oh, there it goes. What happened? You didn't toggle, man. Yeah. Oh, there they go. Okay. See? The balls all come out out of it. So, so she has this, this, what do you call this one? I mean, the other one over there you call a Ferris wheel. What do you call this one? Oh, like a ping pong ball. It's the game machine. So then she uses a, what are you using? The bolt caster or a scatter? Yeah, so she uses those to hit the balls around, and I was saying how it would be really, really great if you could, like, uh, you could create, on a flat land, you could create that. Have these pulled out, do the toggle again, and then you could hit these, and they'd kick the balls around. You could pl plop them into the um, holes and have a game of that. That was pretty cool. So then you were saying, I don't know if I have a strong enough jetpack that'll get me up there. Okay, let's see if I can do it. Let's see, let's see, let's see here. Let's see, let's see. I don't know. This seems like a... a not a Shard Vixen kind of thing, but we'll try it. Oh, yeah, you can. Look at that. I did it. I did it. Ah! I did it and went through it. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> whoop do you. I want to try it again. Okay, here we go. Okay, you went into... I was thinking that that blue part right there was like a bubble and you, you stood in and looked out of it. Oh, I got hit. Ah. It's alright. It'll be fine. If I die, it'll be the first time I've died in a long time. Okay, we'll try this again. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, I, I screwed up. Well, I did it, but then I fell through the thing thinking that was like a pool of water or something. Like it was just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> I know, but I wasn't expecting the hole, is what I'm saying. <laughs> I was expecting a whole lot of something else going on, and then I would forcefully allow myself to go through the thing. But... I can get on the balls. I got no problem with getting on the balls. And then, so this one over here, yeah, you're more talented than I am. And then she, you you jump through, is what she said. And then, there she goes, what? And then this one, she created it. The, this planet, the, the whole base system is called um, the fairgrounds. And this one is her Ferris wheel. And I started this recording earlier, so that's why it started so abruptly. Um, because it wasn't recording. When I looked at it, it was like, there's no time. What I like about this one, besides that it's so pretty with all the lights and everything, um, is you can stand right here and see that planet there. It's pretty cool. Well, I would think you could, like... 
get up there to a degree. Like you could, you could walk on these to a degree, because until it kicked you out, and then, as in my case, it kicked me out. And then she has this this clock. Yeah, look at that. She's more, way more talented with her finesse. And then she made the clock. So here's the clock. And under the clock, you have places to sit. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go into photo mode. And then we'll take some pictures to look at them. Okay. She's standing on the Ferris wheel. Okay, so I have to remember how to do this. I've been playing so many other games that I keep forgetting how to do stuff. Okay. So, we're going to hide the menu. I'll bring the menu back up, but I like to cruise through. So, there, we'll cruise through this. Whee! There she is, bouncing through them. Look at them. Look at her. She is, she is like a pinball monkey. Whee! <laughs> um, so, on the, uh, Blazing Fire does a lot of glitch building, and this is all glitch building, as you might have guessed, because what she's using is the... Exocraft Summoners. She is very creative in looking at what these things are and how she can change them up. Um, I can do that in the real life stuff, like look at something and change it into something else or use it to build something else, but I'm not very good in No Man's Sky looking at things going, oh yeah, this is exactly what I want to do with it. I, I think what I'm going to do with my normal is learn how to build, I have not yet learned how to build a Thea, you know, like a power plant. So I think what I do is build a power plant and then make a music thing like Mike Young did. Maybe a disco, maybe a discotheque or something and people would come to go dancing. Even though, even though we can only dancing. <laughs> yep. So, so she built a dance floor too. So you stand here, you can come up here, stand here, and then you jump through, uh, through the ring, which I can't do right now with the camera because I'm not here. Oh, there we are. So look at that. And then, yeah, and then you can come back through. I'm in camera mode at the moment. So. So that's pretty cool. Um, what's this over here? Oh, it's a radio tower. Did you build the radio tower over here? Or is that one that was looks like something you glitched? It's just another glitch. It looks like you're getting ready to build something over here. I'm in camera mode, so I'm all over the place at the moment. And then there's that planet way out there with the rings around it. Okay, so it's this. Okay, wait. So here's her clock. And then there is the... Oh, she's got exocraft activity. And there we go. And that's where you land when you come to visit her. So you should... It's real pretty on this side. So the, that's how it looks when you land. And then you walk up. And then she's made all this here. It's really cool. Oh, is this the purple thing over here that has the little... Are you going up and over? Is that what you're doing with that? Oh. The clouds with the, the thing. It's all right. I'm in photo mode, so. Oh, there she goes. She's got the hover one. So there's, maybe it's the other one, because the other one looks like a longer runway. That's pretty cool. Alright, so 
So there you go. This is for fair gowns. You should come and check, take a look. It got sunny since I was in in the mood. It's very. Uh, let me see. You've got one over here. They need to have uh, ones you could where everybody could ride together. I can't get in. Yep, she went up and over. Awesome. It is. I, you're just very creative. I mean, oh, and you've got like weird diploid looking creatures there. They're almost like a diploid. Yeah, they're like, they're not as big. I don't know if they're actual. You've got the, the moth, moth men out here. And then these weird round hench, like, I don't know what they are. I've, I've seen them before though. See, you've got the moth, the moth duck, or like it's like an elk and a and a moth, of some type. I, these guys I've seen before. I don't think I've actually seen their, this type of face on these guys though. So th that face, that face is usually on a different body. They weren't here before. Oh, well, there you go. So you have they're kind of a. They are like a dinosaur. Where are you at? Oh. Yeah, you, they've got that face that's usually on the more um, different thing. He don't like you. <laughs> well, here's another one. Maybe this one's a female. <laughs> I don't know. Let's take a picture of him. Oh, he's shaking himself at me. Yeah, this one's nervous. Grab oh, they eat gravitano balls. And they have corrupt, and they like, <laughs> it'd be hard to feed them. <laughs> that would be awesome if they ate sentinels. I'd have them as a pet, that's for sure. I wanted to see the ones that had the spikes on them. Come here. Where'd they go? Where'd the spiky dude go? Come here, spiky dude. I want to take a picture of you. Come here. I know what you are. What are you? Probably... Carnivorous. Oh, you're the same one. Doesn't matter whether they have the spikes or don't have the spikes. Did you see the moth one? The moth elk? Moth elk. That's what we'll call it. The moth elk. <laughs> okay, so it has wings, but then a, a deer head on it. So it looks like a cross between an ostrich and a, de and a deer. Yeah, it was over here running around. Oh, this is a totally different. Here's one. This one looks like it went through a teleporter and got cut off halfway. They look like this should be a kangaroo with a tail, but they don't have a tail. It's got big ears. Come here. Okay, so there's another one that looks kind of like that, but it's got wings and antlers. Where are you at? Oh, there you go. You're chasing him. You know what happens when you chase the mythical beasts. <laughs> you end up in the fairyland, unable to get back. Oh, I feel like this is not good. Oh, it's a storm all of a sudden. The storm has shown up. Right. I want to know where Moth Moth Oak went. Ow! Did you hit me? That was rude. Oh no, it was a plant. No, I was talking that big ugly thing, but apparently a plant it was a the plant that got me. That's right. 
I'm gonna take a left. Do you have a mech? I have a mech. I got a mech before. Okay. I'm in here nice and safe now. So that's really cool. The fairgrounds are really, really cool.